Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today is St. Patty's Day, and I'm going to do the next video in the series of doing tree rings in certain shapes. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to attempt to pour in a shamrock. I'm using a bunch of greens. Now, someone previously pointed out that it should be green and orange. I did hear your message. I am going to keep it greens though, just because that's what I would like to do. So I have like a lime green. This one is more of a grass green. And then I have a darker green, a forest green. And I think I'm going to throw a little bit of teal in here as well and a wee bit of gold. And then I have one Arteza pre-mixed color that I'm also going to use. It says sea green, but it looks pretty blue to me. But I think it'll be a nice offset color here. I definitely don't want this to come out too blue. I want it to be really green. I just think these other colors may help accent it. All right, I'm going to circle back through these colors. Okay, I have my cup ready. I don't anticipate this being easy. I'm gonna do my best. So I am gonna take my time and yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll speed this part up. No judge, <laughs> just uh, it's gonna be fun. Either way, here we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I did my best. I don't think it looks like a shamrock. <laughs> Uh, but we do have the cool lines there that are definitely different. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. Seeing as the shape isn't particularly there anyways, I'm not going to really try to maintain it. It's kind of funny. I only put a tiny bit of that Arteza color in there, but it really kind of took over. But we definitely have those other greens in there really coming out. So I think we'll be good. There we go. So I don't think this looks like a shamrock at all, but I think this is a gorgeous piece. This is actually really pretty. That, um, just a note here, that Arteza color was definitely lighter, or lighter, thinner than my other paints, which is something I normally check for, but I didn't really think about it this time. So that definitely affected it. You can see that kind of gave it this interesting kind of cloudy effect. And you can see also that some of the other colors are kind of pushing through a little bit. Anyways, I think this is really gorgeous. I'm going to let this sit here for just a minute and then we'll come in for a close up. All right, starting on the lower right hand corner here. I love the pops of lime green through here. And look over here in this totally like cloudy area. I think it's beautiful. Little tiny bits of gold coming through. Definitely a really unique piece. Like I don't think I've made anything that looks like this before. Some fun cells coming up in the corner up here too. And a little bit up here. And there you go. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I didn't really do a great shamrock. I tried my best. But if you haven't seen some of the other um, in this same series, I did a heart, I did a star, I did a square. So I'll link some of them down in the description so you can check those out if you want. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time.